What's going on, everybody? Here, um, with Game News Saturday. Okay, so what this is, it's just me telling you guys what's happened in the past week or so in gaming. So that includes consoles, uh, game news, and games that come out and stuff like that. So first off, we'll start with consoles. Starting off with the PlayStation, okay? PlayStation announced PlayStation Neo, okay, which is kind of like an upgraded version of the PlayStation 4, 4.5 if you want to call it, PlayStation 4 Neo. Okay, not much news is out there, but rumors say it will come out sometime this year, okay? Um, maybe more information will be released at E3, don't know, but I'll let you guys know as news comes out, okay? I don't want to speculate too much on rumors, I just want to let you guys know uh, what's actually happening, okay? On to PlayStation Plus. The free games for this month is Switch Galaxy Ultra and Tropico 5 for PlayStation 4. Okay, we got Loco Roco Cockerecho, okay, for PlayStation 3. I probably just butchered that. Um, and then also we got God of War Ghost of Sparta for Vita. Okay, on to the Xbox. There isn't much news with the Xbox. Rumours going around that there might be like an upgraded Xbox as well or Xbox Slim. Again, we probably won't find out till E3. Um, but the only thing to note is games with gold. Okay, the free games for Xbox One is Defense Grid 2 and Sunset Overdrive. I've played Sunset Overdrive. I really recommend um, getting that, downloading it while you can. Um, it's available till the 15th or the 16th of this month. Okay, Defense Grid 2 is all month long. Um, you can also get Grid 2, which is an uh, Xbox 360 game, but it is backwards compatible. So you can download that for free as well. And then for 360, the free games are Grid 2, which is a car racing game, and Costume Quest 2, which looks very, very strange. Okay, it might be alright. Okay, Nintendo, the only Nintendo news is Nintendo NX, codename NX, the new Nintendo console, if you want to call it, is delayed till 2017, okay? Originally, it was meant to come out this year, sometime this year, but it has been delayed and will not appear at E3, okay? Also, never mind. <laughs> okay, so now with the consoles out of the way, okay? Not much news on PC, obviously. Um, not much to say there. Okay, as for games, the big thing is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, okay? Brand new Call of Duty game. Um, release date is predicted to be early November. Okay, I think it might even have a specific release date early November. It might be the 11th or something. Um, campaign is a built around is in space. Okay, um, there is a campaign trailer release. If you want to go out and check that, type it in on YouTube or IGN or anything like that. I'm sure you can find it pretty easy. Another big news about that is Modern Warfare, a uh, Modern Warfare remake will be included for specific editions of this game. You can't currently get the remake in any other way for now, okay? But you probably will be able to get it somewhere down the line, okay? They'll probably release it on its own eventually, but they probably don't want to um, push two games out in case the remake sells better than the brand new game. Probably won't happen, but just in case. Okay, moving on to the next game, Diablo 3. A new season has started last week, last Saturday, 29th of May. Okay, season 6. Um, it's totally hot. End date has not been announced um, yet, but it usually does run for about 3 months or so, 3 to 4 months. Uh, in this new patch, a lot of cosmetics has been added. Okay, so brand new wings, brand new pets brand new transmogs, okay, go out, find them, a lot of fun things in there, push the leaderboards, so on, okay, also, Zelda Wii U, okay, just like the NX, it has been delayed till 2017, okay, their reason is to improve quality of game, um, and will come out most likely same time as the NX, okay, it will be on Wii U and uh, Nintendo NX, whatever that will be called, okay, Zelda, might not be called Zelda Wii U either, Okay, but that's what we're calling it for now. Okay, the Division patch 1.2 details have been released. Okay, some details in that um, 
patch a uh, new DZ bracket of 201 plus gear score, okay, and a new DZ area will be added, okay, in the patch. Uh, there also will be a new incursion, I think it's called the Broken Circle, okay, could be wrong, but I think that's what it's called, and they will update some PvE play, okay, so there might be new missions or something like that. Something that came out this morning, okay, earlier today, Battlefield 1, okay, it's called, newest Battlefield coming out is called Battlefield 1, okay, there's already a release date, 18th of October this year, it's going to release on all platforms, so besides the Wii, so it's going to release on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, okay, um, the campaign around Battlefield 1 is set in World War 1, okay, which is a big contrast to Call of Duty, which seems to be way into the future, okay, with space and everything else like that. This one's set way back in time in World War One. It's going to be interesting to see how they do. Um, I don't know. You might get it, might not. Their special editions, collector edition is already up on their site to be pre-ordered. Okay, you get a whole heap of stuff with that. Um, next off, we got Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, new tournament started today as well. DreamHack Austin has started um, with a $100,000 prize pool. Okay, I think I don't think any European teams are in there. No Asia teams. It's just pretty much North America and Brazil and stuff like that. Okay, you can check that on out on Twitch. Okay, um, just go to the CS:GO page and it's probably the very first one. Okay, millions. Thousands of people are watching it, let alone millions. All right, this is it for Game News Saturday. Some of them will be longer than normal, longer or shorter. Okay, but um, that's all that I have for you for this week. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.